It is that time of day. It's time to get fit. It's time to have lots of fun. I'm Missy Kane. So glad you're tuning in. Um, we're going to do a little bit of intervals. We're going to mix some kickboxing to get that aerobic and get some power going in our lives. And then also a little bit of core strength weightlifting. If you have some weights, grab them. If you don't have any around, it's okay. We'll still give you a good workout. I've got Lauren Jean in the house and um, she's been working out quite a bit lately, haven't you? Oh yeah, I've been doing the new you program. Yes. Getting ready for the marathon coming up. I know it, Lauren Jean is, you really have, I think you've changed your life mindset in the last year or so. And tell everybody where you work first. Oh, I work over at Radio Systems, but you probably know us better as Pet Safe or yeah. Invisible Fence or Sport Dog. That's right, a great place to work. We'll talk about that too in a little bit. My daughter really loved working with you guys with her internship. That was fun. Oh yeah, we loved having that she too. Was, that was great. Um, I think she sent some pictures in that we can show you of her training and doing some things out in the community. And now tell me about that. Uh, that was our Christmas gathering. So that was right when I made the decision to change my lifestyle. Right. So just decided that I wanted to be different. I wanted right. to be active and moving. So you uh, have lost some, some inches and weight. Yes. Okay. So I lost 30 pounds so far. That's great. <laughs> so the aim is to do it again. Right. <laughs> well, and to, like you said, it's not like you're a slave to the scales. Oh, yeah. It's you're wanting to change how you feel and how you conduct every day. Yeah. Um, I actually don't step on the scales that often. It's more about being able to go out and do things. Being able to go out and hike. Do the house mountain. that We just yeah. saw a picture of that. And then we were at the kids run at the zoo with our group, um, and I think the group camaraderie has really played a part of it, the success, right? Oh yeah, it helps. Having the group there, knowing somebody will be there to do it with you, mm -hmm. um, knowing that somebody's waiting on you, get you out the door and get you there. Oh yeah, because you know, you'll think, oh, it's too cold or it's rainy, but then Mark Field's gonna be there, Maria's gonna be there, I need to be there, right? Yep. Houston's <laughs> gonna be there, Mary's yeah. waiting on me. <laughs> right, Ariana, the whole group, whole gang. All right, we're gonna do some warm ups first, big arm circles. And again, we're going to um, make it fun for you guys and just throw in a little bit of kickboxing, easy stuff. And then some weights. I think it's important to do aerobic and some strength work for the muscles. The more muscle you have, the higher your metabolism. Good job. One more. Okay, um, march it out a little bit. I'm going to also warm up the quads because my quads are tight. We've been doing a lot of hiking too. Yes. And you've been doing a lot of lunges at New University over at Fort Sanders, haven't you? <laughs> a lot of lunges and squats. <laughs> Stephanie, thanks to so Stephanie and Matt. All right, what I'm gonna do is just kind of kick, do kickbacks back and forth, kind of an active warm up for our quads. Now you work out at work as well at PetSafe, don't you? Mm -hmm. PetSafe, we have a gym on site. Um, they're really good about focusing on being well year round. Right. So there's a group, we have classes during the day or we have a gym, you can do it whenever you want. That is really neat. So you could do like a little 15 minute workout at lunch. Mm -hmm. Actually, I usually uh, do like a 30 minute workout there at lunch. That's great. Because a happy employee or healthy employee is gonna uh, do better at the job. Oh yeah. And you take your doggy to, to work. Yeah, Jack, Jack gets to go to work with me every day. Um, that is a huge benefit. Oh yeah. Um, so there's usually about a dozen dogs there a day. That's so neat. Okay, a few more of these and march it out. One arm across the shoulder here. We'll warm up the shoulder a little bit. And other side. Yeah, Jack and Rocky have met, my little Yorkie. And um, Rocky thinks he's like a huge dog. And I think he was trying to tell Jack, I'm the boss. But Jack looked at him like, you're just a teeny tot over there. <laughs> Jack was like, whatever. It's yeah. okay, dude. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get a little drink of water and then get into some kickboxing. So if you have some water close by, you can take a sip of that. You can find me on Facebook, Missy Fit and Sign, Missy Fit and Fun. See who's gonna be on, what we're doing. Um, but right now I'm gonna show you guys and learn what I was gonna do starting out. It's gonna be just like a step, cross, punch, and back. So it's step. And this is kind of fast music today. If you need to slow it down, you're welcome to. Step, cross, and back, step, cross. And on that back movement, we're kind of leaning back just slightly, so that way it kind of engages your core to it. Good job. 
Stephanie um, took y'all through some kickboxing moves, right? Mm -hmm. Stephanie did a kickboxing class with us the other night. And you wouldn't think it would be that tough, but y'all are pretty sore the next day, weren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't think it was going to be everything, but it was pretty much a full body workout. Oh, yeah. Y'all looking good out there. Let's do a few more, and then we're going to add a knee to it. Okay, now we're going to lift, punch, lift, punch, lift. Good job. Whew. I'm already breathing a little harder. Starting to get a little sweat here. Four more. Three. Two. One. March it out. Looking good out there. Okay. Now, in between, and I'm going to remember that we're going to switch in a little bit. In between, we're going to do something for strength. So if you have pretty light weights, let's tra grab some light weights. Uh, you can get, I'm going to get my fives to start out with, okay? Yeah. Yep. So we'll do a little combination here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try to mimic something that Lauren was telling me about. Because we're going to act like this is a bar. Tell me what you learned the other night at class. Uh, so the other night in class, what we did is you're holding this like it's a bar. Mm -hmm. You're going to squat down. Right. Come up and bring your knee oh, to your okay. elbow. And if you don't have to hit it all the way, if you can't. Nope. The important part is that uh, lift and twist on the knee. And that's good balance, too. We'll do about 12 of these. Looking good out there. Like new moves here. So this is really a whole body workout. Your shoulders, legs, core. Good job, about five more of these. Oop, I didn't do that one right. Okay, <laughs> keep going. One more. Woo. Okay, set those down. Now I'm gonna switch places. I'm gonna let Lauren Jean come over here. Missy's gonna come over here. So we're doing the same thing we did. You know, we were doing like that side. So now we're switching to this side. You can kind of turn this way. So we're gonna do that cross punch and lean back at first. So it goes step, cross, and back, step, cross. Just a little bit of a punch. Always keep a little bit of a bent elbow in it. Good job. Step, cross, step, cross, step, cross. And again, if this is too fast for you, you guys can slow it down if you need to. Keep it going, four more. Good job. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of a knee. 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 Six more, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. And march it out and switch back around. We'll get a little water. We've been working too, and sometimes when I work with groups, it helps me because Kelsey, who used to work at um, Pet Safe and um, worked at Eddie's Health Shop, now she's at Humana, always said, Mom, I know you think of carbohydrates because that's energy, but you also need protein. Mm -hmm. You need protein to feel good to go. So I've been eating like this protein bread that I got at Eddie's, and you can get other places too, but it had like 22 plus grams of protein in it. And it's good. It's chewy, but it's good. That's awesome. That's you know, a great snack to get get you going. In the morning, because I'm not a big breakfast person yeah. in the mor morning early. <laughs> so put a little bit of honey on there, or I got some, well, Nutella. My daughter, 16-year-old, loves the Nutella little chocolate. But it, it's got the protein, so that's good. All right. Back to a little kickboxing fun. On this one, let's just do our, we're going to do knee lifts and act like we're going to, like we're going to almost go towards like we're hitting a board over our knee. Good. Good job. And I think you gals, um, you, you're up to like seven miles or more, and but you enjoyed the hike too, right? Oh yeah. The hike, man, it felt like it was like eight to ten miles. Because <laughs> you're out there a long time, you do a lot of steps on a hike. So I think it's a good thing to mix up so you don't get injured. Six more. But yeah, the group is doing the 10K. Yeah, Strawberry Plains, 10K, and Knoxville Track Club and a lot of the Greenville Track Clubs, Morristown, there's always some good events that you can do all year long, not just one. Yeah, it's going throughout the year. Okay, march it out. Good. I can feel that even in my hips. <laughs> that was good. All right, light weights again. <clears throat> 
And I'm going to let Lauren also tell us about kind of a deadlift combination that she's been doing that you learned about. Tell me about that. Yeah. So I like this because it stretches out the hamstring side. Right. But you want to keep a flat back mm -hmm. and drop down to the floor. And then pull up slowly. Bring the weights up and press up. Yeah. Do okay. it again. So going down. Now, if you have a really bad back and this hurts your back, Lauren's going to keep going. But you can bend your knees for protection if you need to. So instead of straight legs, you can have a little bit of a bend in those knees. And Lauren's pretty flexible. If you can't go down past your shins, that's okay. I did not start out this flexible. Yeah, that, and I think group exercise really helps flexibility because it's kind of like if you're by yourself working out, I know for me, I'll think, okay, I hiked, I don't need to stretch, I'm good. But if you're with other people and you see somebody stretching, you'll go, oh yeah, I think I'll stretch. I need to stretch. <laughs> Plus we use, you know, the stretching is chit chat also. Oh yeah, good catch up time. What's going on? Let's do about four more of these, looking good. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good job, set them down. A little drink of water, sip it. Okay, we're gonna do some punches and I'm gonna okay. mix it up. I'm gonna do two singles and one double. So it's gonna look like this if I can um, get the beat here it's gonna go punch punch double double punch punch double punch punch double punch punch double your trouble good job single single double it up single single double good job single single double <laughs> single <laughs> Single, we got, we're still moving, it doesn't matter really. Single, single, and double, your trouble. Single, single, double. A few more, give me a single, single, double. Last one, single, single, double. Okay, now in between we're just gonna hold this for a while because you said you enjoyed this every day. Yep, it's the break from the punching but it's still giving your arms a workout. Ooh, yeah, and your quads, got a little pulses. Switch arms as far as which one's on top. Need to get my future son-in-law, Scott, hot sauce. He's a professional UFC fighter, and he does punching bags a lot. It is a good workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Ooh. Okay. A little water. We're going to grab a little heavier weight. On this one. All right. All right, and this is going to be a combination, kind of like we did last time, but instead of doing um, the the flat back and the um, deadlift, we're going to start in a squat. So it's going to look like this. It's going to be shoulders up, shoulders squat, shoulders up, shoulders. Good job. Make sure you lead with that derriere is out the back, and you've got your weight. More on your heels. Good job. Shoulders over. Because um, Pet Safe encourages y'all to enter quite a few different fitness events, don't they? They do. And they um, have them within the company ourselves, too. That's neat. And I so. Chris O'Hearn, I think he's a buddy of mine that comes over some and does some. Mm -hmm. He comes and he's over really and does good personal about training. Mental training, too, isn't he? Yes, about getting the motivation which is just as important as oh, yeah. stepping out the door and doing it. Three more. Two more. Last one. Looking good, okay, set them down. Woo, woo. A little water. All right, we're gonna go back to kind of that first move, but instead of doing the cross, we're gonna do an uppercut, so we're gonna act like we got something right there that we're gonna punch into. Um, so a slow version would be step, up, lean, back. Step, up, lean, it'll be a little quicker, like step, up, and back, step, and back. So you're leaning forward and back. 
You're kind of putting your weight on your back foot. Good job. We're taking a lot of steps in today. I'm going to have to check my Fitbit. You do a lot of Fitbit challenges, do you, don't you? Yes, I do. I do step, ch step challenges with my friends. And your work co-workers co too, right? Mm -hmm. Co-workers and friends. A lot of them are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> she was checking that on the trail. We were at House Mountain. And Laura was going, oh, i got to get my Fitbit going here. <laughs> A challenge so and so got a little less than 10 minutes to go right about that good job everybody let's do about six more on this side five four come on give me some oh three two one march it out all right let's get one kind of heavier weight like your uh, black or your orange weight either one okay and i'll show you what we're going to do with our arm part arm part is going to be for triceps so we're gonna go behind the head and up. Behind the head and up. And we can use our steps if we want to. So it would look like this. It would be back, kind of tapping, just putting your weight down a little bit on the ball of your foot and back up. Good, and elbows high. Good, Lauren. Keep breathing out there. Working that tricep muscle in the back part of our arm. We don't use it a lot, so. Sometimes that can have problem area. Six more. Five more. Four, I can feel it. Oh yeah, I think yours is heavier than mine. Three, I'm nice, you're, you're young though. You can do it. <laughs> Two more. Last one. Good bird, all right. Great job out there, sit your weight down. Hello, water. And I try to keep at the call center where I work too, I, or you can just get in touch with me with Facebook, but there's great maps that you can utilize, Urban Wilderness, um, Cumberland Trail, there's a link on it at outdoornotsville.com. But sometimes you just Google these places and you can find great maps to figure out where you wanna go, House Mountain. It's a state park, you know. Yeah. And it's a great little hike. It's not easy, no. right? <laughs> but it's not really long. All right, now we need to switch over. That's right. You need okay. to come over here. We're going to do that uppercut that we did. So we're coming up on We got that imaginary thing right there. We're going to plow into. So it's going to step up, step up. Good job. Keep it moving. Using that lower body, too. Stepping into it, a little bit of bend. Step. Good job. Lauren's got some attitude there. Good oh. job. I'm trying to concentrate on my breathing. Yep, keep that breathing. Well, Coach Matt said to breathe through the nose. So, yeah, I gotta be intentional and get the whole diaphragm in there, get good breaths. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, march it out, back over here, grab some weights. Let's get two heavy weights again. Okay. On this. All right, we're just gonna march it out like this. And what I want y'all to do is hammer curl, hammer time. So it's here and down, here and down. Kind of a small movement. Like you're holding like a piece of paper under those elbows. Good job. Hammer curl's a little bit harder than a bicep curl. Now let's move to bicep curl. So we're kind of pulling those palms, turning them upward. Good job. Looking good out there. You know, the neat thing about our team and teams that you, cohorts that you work with is y'all are all different ages. Now you're young, Ariana's young, but we got Mark Field and other people that are Mark's younger than me, so I can say he's older, but he's, <laughs> y'all have a 20-year span on ages, but still everybody gets along and mm -hmm. same goals. There's a uh, different generations, but everybody gets along. Yeah. A lot of humor in the group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> humor helps anything. We can laugh at ourselves a lot. Two more. Ooh, I can feel it. Last one. All right, set it down, a little water. Woo.
Good job. All right, there's one more that we didn't do that you said you did. I think we're going to add. It's going to be kind of fast. It'll be kind of last really fast than we did. But we're going to do a jab, cross, and back, right? Mm -hmm. So we go jab, cross, back. Jab, cross, back. Jab, cross, back. Jab, cross, back. So we're coming straight out, then across. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Good job out there. You can do it. About five more minutes. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Looking good. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Few more. Three more. Two. One. Good job. All right. Let's on that. All right. On this one, we haven't done many core things. We're going to do some planks. So kind of ease it up just a second on your marching. Easy does it. Deep breaths. And then we're going to come down. We're going to use our bench. You can use the side of your countertop, whatever you want to. Try to keep the body straight. We're going to have our arms out on this one, Lauren. So we're going to come like this. And we're going to do about 20 seconds of a hold here. We can do a little bit of bend and your arm is fine. Try to keep your back and your rear end in line. Keep breathing. Ten more seconds. We can do it. Oh Y'all yeah. probably do this three minutes with the group, <laughs> I bet. Not quite that much yet. <laughs> Working that way. Good job. All right, now all fours in between. A few bird dogs. Also strengthens the low back, kind of switcheroo, good balance work. Kind of squeeze that derriere. Two more. Good job. Come all the way up again. One more 20 seconds. You can do it. Planks really work, and you wouldn't think this little move could really work. But okay, it sounds simple, but it's a lot of work. Yes. Less than 10 seconds to go. We can do it. Five more seconds. Two, one. Come on up. Good job. I'm going to switch places with Lauren. I'll let you go there. And remember that we did the combo move. Oh, yeah. So it's the jab, cross, uh, back. So jab, cross, and back. Jab, cross, and back. Jab, cross, and back. Good job, everybody. Y'all got it. I think Lauren can get in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> it does help work out. A good hard workout will kind of ease the stresses of the day, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Always much happier after a workout. Now, you act like the type that always loved exercise, but you said it's kind of a newer mindset for you? It is. I was fit when I was young, mm -hmm. and then I got out of a habit. Mm -hmm just kept one more time thinking, oh, I'm okay. Right. Finally made the decision that can't really do everything anymore. Right. And just changed it. It was like, no, I still want to be able to do that. Right. And the more we get fit and eat well and all that, the better I, I say feel. life is more fun when you're fit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the better I feel and the more I want to do more things. So. Right. More energy at work, everything. So we're going to cool it down now, big arm circles. And I think you said it, it's good, too, to have some fellow folks around you or like a, a mind life coach like Chris around that can help you think. we got to think positive, right? Oh, yeah. Everything you know. is about thinking positive. We're all going to have bad days, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Just get back on the wagon. Okay, let's get in a lunge stretch. Uh, we can use our step, whatever you have in front of you, and do a little bit of a stretch. Trying to get that back heel where you're stretching out that calf, even though we're doing the lunge. If you lean back, you're going to feel a little in your hip flexor here. Bring those arms back. Good job. Did I give you a workout? Oh, yeah. Good. Didn't make a good workout <laughs> today. Other side. And you got group fitness tonight, so you're going to double dip today. <laughs> That's good. Stretch it out here. Calf, hip flexor, a little bit of the shoulders. And you guys did an awesome job. Keep it up. You know, a 20 to 30 minute workout. A few days a week can make a difference. And then my tip is one day try to go long. Yes. One day get out there and hike or bike, do something long and burn even more calories. So thank you.
think you did great, girl. Thank you. Good job. All right, girls and guys, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. See you next time. I can feel that hamstring stretch. How about you? Oh, yeah, right here? Yeah. yeah. Other side, equally stretched. 